Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Lost Thunder video, guys. The Lost Thunder hype done end today, and today we're going to be looking at a Suicune Quagsire water box build. This is mainly kind of just like a Quagsire water box updated build. Just adding in Suicune and a few other cool cards from Lost Thunder, which we'll talk about in just a moment. So we test this deck on stream, had some fun with it. The stream game will be in this video, but that stream video will be uploaded later than this video but yes we looked at Suicune. Suicune has the ability Phantom Winds. Um, once you turn before you attack if this Pokemon is on your bench you may shuffle it and all cards attached to it back into your deck. So you shuffle Suicune back in your deck so it's like a fully heal mechanic and Suicune has two attacks both of them are decent so you got Cure Stream which can hit for 120 during your next turn then if any Pokemon's attacks do 30 less damage so that's not bad um, the damage output is a little lackluster, 120 is not good damage to do, um, but you do make them do 30 less damage, not that relevant, they can always do as my retreat or, you know, do whatever to get out of that, but you do have the attack Brinicles, which can hit for 150, and then you, it, you switch to one of your bench Pokemon, like Crossing Cut, uh, which isn't bad, with a Choice Band, you know, you can do 180, which is good numbers to hit, so Brinicles can be a great GX attack. But really what we're going to do with Suicune is we're going to have a switching combo here. You know, we want to get Suicune on the bench. We want to Phantom Wins it back in the deck. And we heal it. So all the damage they do, it gets removed. Um, and the way to pop, do that is obviously through stuff like Guzma, Retreating, and also Articuno. Um, so the other water attacker, the other heavy hitter in this deck is going to be Lapras GX. Lapras GX has Blizzard Burn, which allows you... To do 160 with a Choice Band, you do 190, which is really good numbers, you know, 190 damage is really good to hit with a Choice Band. Um, and with the Volk and with Kyogre, you know, you do even more damage. So, Blizzard Burn hits hard and does good things. So, Lapras, we want to have to take one shot. So it's really also good to mention that Brinicles, uh, Brinicles, whatever you want to call it, doing 150 is really good. Having that one-shot GX attack is really powerful considering Lapras never had the ability to do that. And we are playing one under Kuno with Legendary Ascent. Uh, this combos really, really well with Suicune because we can Legendary Ascent in Articuno, move all the waters to Articuno, and basically go use Suicune's ability, shuffle it back on the deck. So that's the idea behind Articuno being in here. And we do have Naganadel. Now, Naganadel is really good with this deck. Um, in stream, we talked about Naganadel and Quagsire, and it's just a good combo, because we know that Naganadel has the ability charging up, which allows you, once you're in turn, before you attack, you can attach a basic energy from your discard pile to this Pokemon. Naganadel is a really good card. We have a lot of fun combos with it. We'll use Naganadel's ability, uh, build it up, and uh, get some energy in play for Quagsire's ability washout. Quagsire's ability is actually like, during your turn, before you attack, move a Water Energy from one of your bench Pokemon to your active Pokemon. So we want to combo this with Naganadel to get the energy into play for Suicune. So say we retreat Suicune um, into something else, we have to discard two energies. We charging up the energies back into play, wash them back out to the new active, shuffle Suicune back in. So that's kind of the combo we want to go for with Naganadel. And we have Aqua Patch also to support us. Um, so that's why it's like a really fun little combo, Quagsire, Naganadel, Suicune. Um, some other guys in the deck, obviously Kyogre. I like having Kyogre in here. Grand Wave can be fun. It's a 130 HP non-GX attacker. Dual Splash comes in handy too, especially with Lapras and Suicune for damage output. So Kyogre is really good. And obviously we have to play the Steam Art oh, the Steam Artillery. Oh my gosh, the Sauna Blast Volcanian Prism Star card. Of course, Volk Prism Star has to be in here. Jet Geyser combos really well with Naganadel and with Aqua Patch. And Sauna Blast is a great attack, a nice non-GX heavy hitting Pokemon. Sauna Blast, once again, puts stuff in range of getting KO'd for whenever we need that. So Volk is another great card in here. We are playing one copy of Lele, and that's about it for the Pokemon. Um, there are some tech cards. Um, obviously, a lot of people like playing Palkia in these decks, especially because it offers a different typing. Um, so there's that option. Uh, one thing with the Gandal also I forgot to mention, it does hit Buzzwolf for weakness. So this allows you to one-shot Buzzwolves, which is really relevant. You can also one-shot Necrozmas and Marshadows, so there's a lot of benefits to playing the uh, Naganadel in here. Now we go into the items. Two Acro Bikes, obviously, you know, it's a great card and get you energy in the discard. Four Aqua Patch, another amazing card with these water decks. One Fuel Blower, really good to get rid of tools and stadiums. One Mysterious Treasure, um, grabs you Lele, Poi Pole, or Naganadel. Uh, one Stretcher for your Pokemon. We got four Ultra Balls to search, three Brooklyn Hills, we need a counter stadium. All these new Prism Star stadiums need a counter, and it's good to get rid of Shrine. Uh, four copies of Cynthia for draw. We are playing three Sightseers. 
Uh, great card with Aqua Patch. Uh, two Guzmas to be able to knock stuff out and a combo with Suicune. Two copies of Lily for draw. One Kikui. Really good to have one Kikui. Um, I think two might be stronger than just one, but having two allows your Lapras to hit better numbers, um, so it's really good to have. Three choice bands and three EXP shares. Um, EXP share is not as relevant in this deck now that we have access to Naganadel, but experience share is still really good with Quagsire to save you the extra energy. It's really powerful. And three choice bands, obviously, for things. And ten basic water energy to round out the energy count. But yeah, this is my Lapras Quagsire deck. Almost blinged out. All I need to do is just add the second Acro Bike and the Cynthia. But yeah, Lapras Quagsire. Uh, with Suicune, or Suicune Quagsire, as I'm going to call it in this video. We're going to try it out here on PC Joe, see the deck in action, and see how this does for us. Alright guys, here we go. Let's go do some Suicune Quagsire matches. Check out the deck, and uh, see what we can get going on here. So here we go. First match is not a Blasafion deck, as I hope we would play against. But no, it looks like, instead, I can't really tell from the typing. It looks like, <laughs> it looks like Night March, but we're in standard, so it's not obviously Kappa. Okay, so here we go. We'll see what we start with. Gonna mulligan. A little bit of a reveal as to what we are playing. We might be up again. Okay, so I saw fighting, lightning. Okay, so I don't know. Fighting and lightning. I don't know what to expect. Okay, so, okay, not a bad starting hand. I think it's actually really good. So we're gonna be able to start with Suicune. We got Sightseer, Brooklyn Hill. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff going on. Alright, so let's check out what deck my opponent is running. He's playing Zork Lycanroc. Okay, so this matchup is not bad. Um, I was hoping to be able to see some Lost Thunder decks today, but no, it looks like we're not. Looks like Suicune. I mean, Suicune is okay here in this matchup. Lycanroc is a huge annoyance, though. Ooh, he whiffed a Great Ball. That's pretty nice. We'll see if my opponent's playing Professor Elm's Lecture at all. he's playing the great balls now unless he's like got such a bad hand he has to dig another great ball this guy got three great balls in starting hand what the heck no oh, he had a zorva that's annoying i don't know if hmm it's interesting that he's playing those now his hand must be that bad really hope he doesn't have an energy to attach that's always the worst thing to see he's actually gonna just judge me okay that kind of sucks i like that hand but i feel like we'll get a a fine enough hand off this. Yeah, that's fine. That works too. Another great ball. Oh my gosh, another Zork off it. That's really annoying. Did he find the fighting energy though? I really hope he didn't. Okay, good. I hate when they do that. All right, so we'll do this. We'll treasure and uh, we'll grab Poipul. Looks like Lele's prize. So we'll grab Poipul. Hmm, we'll choice ban the Lapras. We'll Sightseer for five. Wow, no supporter. That really sucks. Or no, nothing really good off that. Awesome. Hmm. I guess we just attach to the bench and pass, honestly. Didn't get a good hand off that Sightseer, unfortunately. Pretty bad hand. Not gonna be able to do much. My opponent's gonna Ultra Ball. We know he has a Zork in his hand. Ooh, he got rid of a Devoured Field. I mean, if I play Brooklyn Hill, I guess, then he gets a free Rock Ruff, but still, it's like, whatever. At least he had to get rid of a uh, Devour Field. I kind of like that. can't believe he hit four Great Balls on his first turn, though. That's a little insane. That's like four Battle Compressors, like, in Expanded. So he's going to drop the Lele. Let's see what he goes for. He might go for a Guzma, and he feels confident he's going to hit a Righteous Beating here. Well, I guess he has Lycanrox. I don't know. So he's gonna do Lele, he's gonna Lily. Okay, I kinda figured he would do that. And yep, just Lily for five. We'll see if he gets any Zoroas down this turn. I hope he doesn't. He's played a lot of his searching cards, so I doubt he's gonna hit a Zoroa here unless he hits it off his trade. Can a nest ball? Alright. Rip, he hit the Zoroa. Once again, though, no Elms Lecture. I don't know where these Elms Lecture decks are at. Hmm, as long as he... Okay, good. I'm gonna have to bring out Rockruff, I think. Yeah, we're just not drawing very well. So we're gonna have to just bring out Rockruff, I think, just to, like, draw the extra cards here with Collect. 
He's probably out of judges. He's played two so far. And all right, woo, Professor Kikui, because that means, you know, he could Zorak me next turn, which I hope he does, so we can take the Professor Kikui knockout. That would be amazing. And we got Wooper finally. Um, so if this hand works well enough, I think. He's going to get rid of Lily again. Let's see what else he does. So hopefully we strand him the active. If not, you know, I don't care if he attacks me because I'm actually, I do want to take the knockout here with Blizzard Burn. That would be really hype. All right, so he's going to play Bloodthirsty Eyes. Will he bring anything up? Oh, just the Poipul though. Okay, if I can get an Aqua Patch here, that would be great. I might just keep Poipul in the active. I don't really care about losing it. We have another Poipul in our hand. So if I lose it, I don't care. I, again, I want to bait him into Raich into like, so we can get the Blizzard Burn knockout. Another Water Energy. Nice. <laughs> These draws, man, I'm telling you. I guess we'll actually... Let's Spit Poison him. We have the other Water, so we can always attack next turn. But I'm going to Spit Poison him. That 10 damage is relevant. Now he is going to be KO'd by Lapras next turn, which is what I kind of wanted to go for. So that seems good. Spit Poison making its mark. This is why you don't play the new Poipul. See, look at how good Spit Poison is. Look at how good it is. It, it's turning out to be the best attack in the game, apparently. So now we have that one-shot option on Lycanroc almost. We don't have to play Kikui, so we can, if he doesn't knock me out, we can retreat and knock him out. And no, he's just going to do that. All right, let's see what we draw. We drew an Aqua Patch. That's a pretty good draw. So we will retreat into Lapras. We do have to knock him out Blizzard Burn, unfortunately. If we had Quagsire, we could uh, hit him with Brinicles, which would have been super nice, but nah, not today. We'll Aqua Patch to Suicune. And I think we just take, I would can we Ice Beam him? 130, 150, 160, nah. Tw we're still short, so yeah, we have to hit him with Blizzard Burn. That's fine though. We can, if we hit Quagsire here and like Naganadel, we can always get like a, we can retreat, combo, do something there. All right, let's see. We got Lele. We got another Aqua Patch. Lele's really good because we can grab Guzma. And yeah, so that was pretty good. Spit Poison turns out to be the best attack in the game all of a sudden. Kappa Ross. Obviously, I could Brooklyn Hill, but I don't want to put that much on my bench. Obviously, you know, Zoark Lycanroc wants to beat you by Dangerous Rogue. So we're going to get hit hard here. We're unfortunately not going to be able to take out Zoark unless unless we we'd have to get like a really good top deck. And we could we could get like a Quagsire combo. And if we knock out Zoark this turn, we'll be good. If not, we can always, you know, we can probably do Lele knockout, which is fine. Actually, I don't know. I don't want to lose that much energies. We'd have to we'd have to retreat in order to knock him out. Unless we top deck a water energy, then I can like do that. So hopefully we do that. So I would like to get a knockout here. Or, if I don't, I can always maybe try and set up a Sauna Blast. Ooh, we got rid of another Lycanroc. I like to see that. I like to see that. Can do another trade. Okay, let's see. It's gonna trade away Nest Ball. Once again, the Elm's Lecture not, not present. If I even knock out Rockruff, actually, he probably will be out of fighting energy, so... Hmm. If I could talk to Quagsire, I'm tempted to just Cure Stream knock out Rockruff, because... Get rid of the Lycanroc threat, and he won't be able to really attack me, because I don't think he's playing any more than four fighting energies, and he's already played three of them. So, I don't know. We could potentially make something happen there. Oh, he's going Lycanroc now. Okay. I'm actually really hoping he knocks something out here. I don't even care if he KOs Wooper. I want to do this because I had the Kikui in my hand. I can knock him out. Yes, he's doing it. What? Yo, he's insane. He's insane. Nice. All right. So this is really good. So we're going to be able to knock him out now with Professor Kikui. And yeah, that was... I'm really glad he did that. All right. And we'll Brooklyn Hill. 
We do want to put down... Oh, we prize rather whooper, though. Ooh, okay, that's actually really bad. All right. I guess we'll just put down Prism Star Volk. And we'll just do this. Kind of spread out the love a little bit. And we'll play for the QE. Can we get Naganadel? No, but we do get EXP share, which is also pretty nice. Well, I guess we got Naganadel. Yeah, we'll get rid of the other Suicune. Don't need it. We'll get rid of Poipul. We'll grab the other Naganadel. And we'll start getting charging up going. It's going to be a little hard, though, because we lost our Wooper. We're going to have to find our Stretcher or something. And yeah, we'll knock him out. So I'm glad he took out Wooper there, because we now take out his Zork GX. And we'll take our two prizes. And Lycanroc can't even Dangerous Rogue me next turn. And there's the other Wooper, which is hype. Even a Field Blower can come in handy. So I think we're in a good spot. We actually win next turn because of Lele. So yeah, if he does not finish me off, which will not happen probably, unless he drops a down, so he puts him star in a Choice Band, which could happen. We'll see. If we survive the turn, though, we will win the game. Yeah, the down in his hand. Oh no. Oh no, just dangerous rogue. So yeah, that's game. Alright, unless we prized our other Guzma, but I'm pretty sure we didn't. Pretty sure we did not prize it. Yeah, we're good. That's game. Pretty good game. Pretty good game. There we go. Showing off how this deck can win. I'm actually surprised we won this game. So we gotta do the Guzma and then we gotta retreat Suicune. But yeah, that was good. Nice little quick win here against a matchup that I'm not a big fan of, but we were able to still come out on top with a nice big blizzard burn for the win. There we go. Boom. Lapras. Lapras Quagsire with the Suicune. We didn't use Suicune in that game, though, but, I mean, Lapras just completely destroyed him. Hashtag, though his deck is outdated, because no Elms Lecture. It's not even any, uh, any cards from, like, Lost Hunter. <laughs> um, but that was a good game. We hopefully get to use more Suicune action, though. This is a Suicune video, so I mean, if this next game we don't get much Suicune action, I'll just try and find a game where we do get it. And, ooh, looks like we're against potentially Decidueye Ninetales. Grass is not what we want to see. Uh, what we want to see is Fire and Psychic, because they don't both safe you. So, we'll see. This is kind of why you do want to play, like, a different range of, like, different attackers that aren't weak to grass. That's why people like playing the Palkia in here, because it is not weak to grass. You can play the Dragon Palkia. And, all right, you know what? Pretty decent starting hand. We got Kyogre, which is a really good starter. We got Wooper, Acrobike, Brooklyn Hill. Pretty good. I think we are up against Decidueye, though, so that's going to be a bit of a challenge. Decidueye is hard to beat, just because, you know, you're weak to grass. And we'll have to see how this goes. Oh, even worse, he's playing Lost March. Oh, shoot. Okay, Lost March is, like... Basically an auto loss. Almost. Ooh, wow, Poipul. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we can do something. Maybe we can pull something together. Doesn't look like much Suicune action's happening. I think if we assault them with, like, these baby attackers, maybe we can pull something off? Maybe. I guess Articune have been good, but we can always get it back later. Who cares? So we'll play Cynthia. Hopefully we get a water energy here so we can start to build up. What do you mean, brother? No water energies! Oh, rip. And we're gonna have to save that for Lele. Okay, that's pretty dumb that we didn't get any, but that's fine. We can still potentially attack him next turn, but I do want to get Dual Splash online. He's gonna go Trum Break. Does he hit a supporter? Nope. I don't think he did. Okay, Lost March is gonna be a pretty bad matchup, I would say. Again, if we maybe attack him with Kyogre, Naganadel, Quagsire, Volcanion, and I guess Articuno, because it's not weak to grass, we can get something going. So we'll see if we can use that as our win condition. Maybe. She's going to do an Elm's Lecture. Only one guy in the Lost Zone for now, which is good. Is it possible to kill Hoppip this turn? I don't think it is. We'd have to get like a bunch of energy in the discard, double aqua patch, attach the active, grand wave, knock mode. It's possible. It's not impossible. Okay, so let's see who we draw. We drew. Oh, I did not mean to play that down. Whatever. I'm... I literally didn't mean to play the Lapras down. That's pretty darn annoying. Alright, we're gonna have to grab Lele. Whatever. Yeah, I didn't mean to put the Lapras into play. That was a mistake. 
And that's gonna cost me! Oh my gosh. I meant to click and drag the Naganadel, but it's like, no, you, you're putting Lapras in play. But I didn't want to, but it made me do it. Alright, so hopefully I'm confident we can at least do a dual splash this turn. So let's see. Cynthia. Nice. Nice, nice. Dual splash. We got him. So Ultra Ball, get rid of these two. Uh, probably just grab Poipul if we get knocked out next turn. Man, I am kicking myself though for putting that Lapras down. Obviously, you didn't, we did not want to do that. That'd be kind of fun if we ever got to a point where we could do Sauna Blast, take like two prizes on those hot picks by Daddy. So we'll do a splash and I guess hit these guys. Don't really need to hit the Vulpix. It's better to just soften up the Night Marcher or Lost Marchers. I gotta, I gotta, get, I gotta get used to saying Lost March now over Night March, but I can't. So he's gonna grab Skip Bloom. He's gonna be able to get these two in this, the Lost Zone. He doesn't need that many guys in the Lost Zone to knock me out with Jump Fluff here. Oh, well, you know what? Oh, I didn't realize he would heal. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's my bad. I didn't realize he would heal. Oh, I forgot. I forgot you heal. I thought the damage swapped. Ugh. I have not played against Lost March since it came out. So I'm not really used to this, but... Yeah, I should have... I should have expected that. He just needs to get... Never mind, he has everything he needs to knock me out. Rip. Rip in the chat. Okay. I think we can respond with an Aganadel knockout. We just need to get an energy off of our Lily and we will knock him out. Unless he field blowers me, that would suck. But yeah, I have not tested for Lost March. I did. I forgot that you heal the damage, so whatever. It doesn't matter. I should have hit the Vulpix. It didn't really matter what I hit there because I guess he still would have done Skip Loom anyways. Even if I hit both Hot Pips. It's whatever. It's not like it matters. It really doesn't. It really doesn't matter too much. Another Hot Pip. And Lost March for 240. So the only problem here is Lapras is a massive liability. So this is going to probably be our downfall is when I accidentally bench that Lapras. Okay, we drew Aqua Patch. Can't play that though because we got to use it for charging up. And no water energy. Is there any way to get a water energy in play? There is not. Okay, well. I'm just gonna scoop. I don't know. I kind of feel like that game was gonna go nowhere anyways. I benched the lap press by accident. I didn't get the energy. We're just gonna concede. All right, guys, let's go to another game with our deck. Kind of miscounted kind of Lost March there. It's my first time playing against it, so I didn't know what to expect fully. And ooh, looks like we're against like a Zork Decidueye deck. We'll see how we do here. Obviously, we are weak to grass, which is a bit of a problem. But outside of that, we'll see what we can pull off in this matchup. So we'll see what we start with. We got Articuno. And a whooper start. I guess we'll start with Articuno. Honestly, I don't. I guess I could start with Whooper. Yeah, we'll start with Whooper. We. I mean, I don't want. I don't want to start with Articuno. It's not really helping us right now. Whooper might not get knocked out anyways. I mean, we'll see. I'd rather just start with the Whooper. We have enough cards in our hand to pull off a big Lily play too, which is really good. So, I'm fine with starting with Whooper. Not fine with that top deck. So we'll Ultra Ball, get rid of Sightseer and Articuno. Don't think Articuno is going to be too useful here. And we'll grab Suicune. We're going to try and use Suicune this game. I don't even care if he's weak. We're going to use Suicune. This is a Suicune video. We're using Suicune. Don't care. We'll Choice Bandit. We'll do a nice big Lily for six. And all right, we got Poipul. I'll take the Kyogre. Um, kind of was hoping we could do Collect, though, not going to lie. <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna attach and pass. We're not gonna get knocked out next turn. Tackle can't do enough damage. Even if he did a Kikui, he's only gonna do 60. Wooper is so tanky that it can take a hit. So, feeling good about it. So he's gonna play a Unit Energy on Rowlet. And a Cynthia. Alright, so. He's playing a Ninetales build. Yep, there it is. There's the Vulpix. Alright, Choice Band on that. And tackle. I don't really like how he's attaching to because he might set up a turn to Decidueye. And alright, that's the top deck we needed. So we're gonna retreat into Suicune. We're gonna drop the Quagsire. This is all part of the strategy, folks. We're gonna Aqua Patch. We're gonna knock him out Suicune this turn. This is a Suicune video. My boy Suicune's gotta have as much action as he gets. 
We gotta use them as much as we can. So we'll Lele for, I guess, Lily. And then we'll just play the other Wooper. Yeah, we have Kyogre in play. We're gonna go Lily. If we whiff a Water Energy here, I am going to cry. Thank you. Whew. I thought I was actually gonna whiff it there. It was the last card, so. Oh, we, we can't, we already attached though. What do you mean, brother? Wait, oh, shoot, did I mess that up? No, you know what I can do? I can Ultra Ball, hope the other Nagandal's not prize. Okay, I guess we have to do that in order to pull this off. Assuming the other Nagandal's not prize. So, Professor Kikyu, we can probably go. Yeah, okay, good. Nagandal Quagsire, guys, never doubt this combo. Never doubt it. Never doubt it. Look at how good it is. I really need to get this knockout, too, so this is really good. So, yeah, this combo, I'm telling you, the Nagandel Quagsire combo is really effective. It's double stage one, a little awkward in that regards, because, you know, you gotta get multiple Pokemon going. But when the combo goes up, look at how good it is. See, before Nagandel, we'd have to rely on the unfortunate circumstances of using Aqua Patch for relying on getting energy in play. And we didn't get an Aqua Patch there, so I'm glad I did that. I'm glad we played Nagandel in this deck. It's just so good. And we have type coverage. Okay, this is Zoark build too, so that's going to be pretty bad. So he's going to do Cynthia. Does he get a Decidueye and play this turn? That's what I'm most scared of. I mean, I guess we could have kept QE, but I can always maybe try and dual splash in the future. But Suicune's kind of putting in work right now. It's tanking. Ooh, yeah, he got the energy. So I'm hoping we can top deck a Guzma here so we can knock out that Rowlet. I don't think I will, though, but I'd like to knock out Rowlet. Decidueye is obviously a massive threat to our our board state. Even though, like, stuff like Lele, Naganadel, and Articuno, you know, they can attack him, and, you know, they don't have to worry about that weakness. And he has Rare Candy in hand, so we gotta be careful. What do we draw? Guzma? No, we drew Brookwood Hill. I don't want to play that. I think we just Cynthia. So, yeah, we're not gonna be able to stop Decidueye, which is horrible. But we are going to be able to get a lot of good stuff here. Which is good. So we'll Ultra Ball, get rid of Brookwood Hill and Water. And we will grab... We'll grab some Star Volk. I wish I could attack with him this turn, but I can't. It's fine though. We'll do Charging Up. I could have played the other Choice Band, by the way, but I didn't want to because I don't want to get Field Blurred. I'm actually thinking... Br 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 can't pronounce it. Brian Brianicles is the better play here, and then go into either Kyogre or Wooper. Yeah, I think I think this is still yeah, you know what, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go into Kyogre. Because I think Kyogre is gonna be a better, like a better wall here. Like I could sacrifice Wooper. But Quags are still integral to the setup, so if he KOs Quags are anytime soon, you know, I'm not gonna have that option anymore to wash out. So I think we'll bring out Kyogre. Plus if he gets knocked out, we can always save the energy. So, we're gonna go into you. And we'll see if he even hits the DCE here. He might not even hit it. Ah, oh, double Zoar. That is dirty. Ooh, but he didn't have the rare candy. So, it looks like he's betting on what trade gives him. Choice Band discard's nice. Alright, if he whiffs rare candy, that would be amazing. Please whiff it. Please, please, please whiff it. Please whiff rare candy. What do you mean, brother? Alright, I doubt he hit uh, DC2. If he did, I mean, oh my god. Yeah, of course he hits it. And he hits it. What's next? The last card in hand is Cynthia or Lily. Okay, good. That was annoying. Or It still could be. He hasn't even attacked me yet. Awesome. Okay, that's really annoying that he hit everything off of those trades. I hate that, but whatever. There's a reason I went into Kyogre over anything else. I mean, we could... Ugh, Cure Stream's not gonna matter because... He would, if he gets like Choice Band, another Decidueye, he has all these Feather Arrows, so he could still do enough damage to KO my Suicune. I don't know, maybe I go in Lele here. Yeah, I think that might be better. Though I do think I want to go Prism Star Volk too. I kind of actually want to do Prism Star Volk, because we hit the Sauna Blast. Get 20 damage on these guys. Really good. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think we'll go Prism Star Volt. Though, I don't hate the idea of attacking with Lele, but I think Prism Star Volk is like the better attacker here. Soccer Patch, whatever, just put put it wherever. To wash out. Probably gonna take the energy off Suicune, if I'm being honest with you. That it's the most likely thing to get KO'd here. Uh, no! I can't click out of it! I don't wanna play it! What? No, let me click out of it! What? What? Dude, are you kidding me? Oh my god. Are you actually kidding me? I didn't wanna do that. Oh my gosh. Okay, thankfully we still have enough energy in play, but that is really, 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 really annoying. <sighs> Come on, that's so stupid, dude. They need to fix that AS ASAP. That is just... That's so stupid. Alright, I'm pretty sure Volk is safe this turn. That's so dumb, dude. I really hope... If that's a glitch, they need to fix that. That's so dumb. You can't click out of the ability. Like, what is that? <laughs> what is that, dude? Come on. Oh my gosh. This guy's hand is OP. He's got an eye and everything. Alright. Play the Brooklyn Hill down next turn, I guess. Dang, man. That's so stupid, dude. I can't believe that was the case. That really sucks. Oh, we hit a field blower. Rip. Okay. It's only one experience share. We still have a couple left. We're not getting knocked out this turn either, I don't think. I mean, getting rid of all that energy is so bad, but... I mean, at the same time, it is good to heal. Though it doesn't really matter. Okay, he's gonna hit my active. He hits me for 90. Okay, we still have enough HP to survive a double feather arrow KO out of nowhere, which is nice. I'm just gonna experience share the Lele possible Lele goes down. We're gonna bench the Lapras because he's a good attacker. And we just sauna blast him for now. I mean, he's got 40 HP. He's pretty weak. Zoark is now heavily damaged. You know, Ninetales heavily damaged. Pretty good. He's got enough damage on it to potentially, you know, get threatened by Lapras. We'll get KO'd, but thankfully we're not gonna get, like, double Feather Arrow knocked out. If he didn't hit the Quagsire, he would have had the, the, the eight Feather Arrows he needs to take out my bulk, which would have been really scary, so... It's good that he doesn't have that. It's really good that he didn't get that. If he heals the Decidueye this turn, oh, uh, it's gonna be really bad. We're not really guaranteed to attack him next turn other than just Lele, so that's gonna have to be the case unless he gets rid of my Spiritual. And he actually attached to the Ninetales, which I'm happy about. It's not Ninetales isn't too threatening. Decidueye is the biggest threat in play right now. We can deal with Ninetales fairly easily. We'll attack with Lele next turn, if he doesn't get rid of this experience share. He's gonna Ultra Ball. He might just get another Rowlet. That's a lot of waters to play. Oh, he's grabbing a Ranguru. Okay, that's fine. I'm actually hoping he just retreats and does it this turn, but he's not obviously going to, but that would be nice. That would be very nice. Alright. Either I take him out with Lele or Naganadel. I think, hmm, I feel like we're safe next turn, so we'll just attack with Lele. Oh, yeah, this is why I'm attacking with Lele. We did get Choice Ban, though. Well, we have Aqua Patch, but still, I, I, I feel more safe for attack with Tapu Lele here. And then next turn, we can win the game with a nice big old Lapras, so that's nice. So we'll wash out, move the energy off Lapras, because it could get KO'd, possibly. There's, like, a slight chance it could. And we'll energy drive, knock out this Decidueye, and we should win the game next turn, assuming... Well, actually, if we get Guzma, we straight up win. Guzma. No, Suicune. Can't really do much with it, but yeah, we should be good if he brings out Ninetales, which he is. He could snipe the Quagsire for 70. No, ooh, wow, we're so OP, we survive a hit. We survive a hit from this thing. That's insane. I wonder if he's actually in an ice path. He can snipe Wooper. He can't KO Quagsire, though, thankfully, with the feather arrow damage. I got 80 HP. That's insane. Quagsire is such a beast. 
such a beast. Alright, I really hope he just does not knock me out. I really hope he does a nice path. I don't think he's expecting the knockout, so I think we're safe. Yep, there we go. And that is game, folks. We showed off Suicune a little bit. We got some Suicune action in, which is good. Uh, do we not have any waters in discard? We don't. Okay, the game ain't over yet, but it kind of is. Kind of is. Just need to hit a water energy here to win. Nope, discard it. There we go. There we go, we win. Oh no, we didn't need to hit it. We could have just again it up. Alright, you kind of see my brain in operating properly right now. But no, we, we're good. We won the game. Um, pretty good match here against this Decidueye deck. A matchup that obviously isn't that great. But we did show off Suicune in this game. Not really that well though, but you know. It's not really that great compared. Lapras is just a way better attacker. Especially against matchups like this. Where you need to take one shot. But yeah, that'll wrap today's PDC Joe video. If you enjoyed, make sure you like it. Don't forget to subscribe down the road to 4 thousand subscribers if not already subscribed to the channel make sure you guys do subscribe thanks for watching the video i'm gonna leave you guys now with a stream match suicune in quake their lap press it's a nice card we didn't really show up a combo that well i guess we accidentally shuffled ourselves back into the deck but whatever uh, we still were able to win the game which is pretty hype so thanks for watching i'll catch you guys later goodbye so uh, some suicune quagsire i got a nice win streak there so hopefully we don't lose it but i feel like suicune quagsire will be good just because we do have um a lot of Blissafion right now on the ladder, so if we run into that, we have an easy matchup. Ooh, looks like we're up against Bulu. This is like the worst matchup we could have asked for because we're weak to grass. But everyone tune into the live stream, guys. Welcome to the stream, and I uh, hope you enjoy, hopefully enjoy the stream, guys. But yeah, bunch of Lost Thunder decks to test out. It's going to be pretty fun. Um, looking forward to it. So we can either start with Poipul or Suicune. I think I'm going to start with Poipul. I am playing Suicune Quagsire, um, but I do have Naganadel in the deck. It's a really good card with um, with Quagsire, and also has type coverage for Buzzwool, which is nice. Caught a shiny pincer in Pokemon Go. Uh, by the way, you can just say Devin. All right, nice. By the way, I have, I don't think I've gotten a shiny Pokemon yet in Pokemon Go, or no, I have a shiny Agron. I got you a Rainbow Rare Sceptile GX. I mean Terry, if you wanna if you wanna donate that. Um, I would appreciate it if if that's what you meant if that's what you meant all right so um i guess we'll do water i might okay let's do acrobite first okay definitely want to do sight seeker now we'll get rid of probably just cynthia and the water energy let's see what we get another acrobike's pretty good okay we got naganadel for next turn that's fine so uh, we'll start things off with an Aqua Patch to the Suicune. And we'll just pass. We are up against Vikabulu though, which is really bad because Suicune is weak to grass. I have a shiny Eevee in Pokemon Go. Nice. Yeah, I don't play much Pokemon Go that much anymore. I, I don't think I've played it since like May or April. Um, there's a lot of stuff at my school at the college campus, but okay, good. It's Rayquaza build. Dude, he's playing Delmise most likely. Um, but nice. You have a shiny Agron, same, yeah. It's a really nice card. Or, nice card, nice Pokemon. Uh, Agron, I always put in the gym, too, because it's one of my highest CP guys. Uh, Mortis, welcome to, or Moritz, sorry. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping by. Alright, let's see. Does he get a Grubbin down this turn? Oh, he does. He has two cards in his hand, though, after this Ultra Ball. And I highly doubt that's going to be Rare Candy Beakable, so we should be safe next turn. But I do like this deck a lot. I think Suicune definitely gives Waterbox a bit more support. It's a really good card. Well, it's not really good, but it's, like, good enough. It's good enough. Oh, he's actually going to let loose me. That's fine. I'm actually fine with that. We get a better hand here. I mean, that hand was fine enough, but it's okay. We can also use uh, Brinicles to one-shot Rayquaza. And, ooh, okay, we didn't get a supporter. That's what I was worried about. And he gets the Nest Ball. And somehow this guy is going to have three cards in his hand. But because all Vikavolt players... Okay, never mind, I was going to say. I was going to say, he had Rare Candy Vikavolt, because all Vikavolt players always get Rare Candy Vikavolt. BRB. Alright, all good, Devin. All good. We're going to be streaming for a bit. So, we're good. we got a lot of decks to play. A lot of fun to be had. So, this is going to be a good live stream.
It's not gonna be a short one, so don't worry. Okay, we drew a Suicune. We have Quagsire. Not much else we can do here. We can Brooklyn Hill for... I mean, I guess I can collect. I guess I have to. I guess I have to do collect here, unfortunately. We kind of have to draw out of this, so yeah, we're going to have to go into a collect play. We might be safe next turn to not get knocked out. I do feel safe. I feel pretty safe. He only has three cards. I highly doubt he got Rare Candy Vigable, though most Vigable players always get Rare Candy Vigable. Dragon Palkia. Unfortunately, Adidas is not in this deck. You. They always have it. Even when they have three cards in their hand, they always have it. I hate Vigable the Passion. Who had to get that off my chest? Um, no, Dragon Palkia is not in this deck. Um, the only, like, I got Lapras, Suicune. I am playing one out of Kuno because it does combo pretty well with Suicune's ability. Um, but that's about it. Are you going to do any expanded decks of Lost Thunder? Yeah, eventually one. But obviously, standard right now is kind of where all the Lost Thunder hype is at. But I will eventually. Okay, we actually might be able to knock out Rayquaza this turn. I I hate Vigable so much, though. They always... And yeah, every time, they have three cards in their hand. And they always seem to get the Rare Candy Vigable. It actually blows my mind how lucky Vigable players are. I, I can't get over that, dude. I can't believe it. He had four cards in his hand, and he got the Rare Candy off that. I just... It's so ridiculous, dude. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, Did he even do... No, he did, because he had to retreat Lele. That's right. Okay, Rip. I was going to say... We could have potentially killed Rayquaza this turn. Unfortunately, though, we did not get much going on in our hand. I really hate to lose Lapras here. It's really annoying. But we'll see what we can do. We kind of have to do Collect again. If we can get Naganadels online, that would be nice. Okay, that's fine. That's a good hand. Uh, all right. Yeah, I do have a Tyrantar GX deck, actually, Mr. David. Um, that's going to come out eventually. Sometime this this coming week is probably when I'm going to do it. It's a Tyranitar uh, deck with Shining Celebi. And I am excited to try that deck out, but um, for now. You should look into a Suck Shuckle style deck. Yeah, I do, Grumpus. I need to get a bunch of Shuckles, though. That's the only problem. Like, with Safeon and Shuckle, I need a lot of those in order to, like, make good decks with them, so... It's a little tough. All right, do I go for the Brinicles? Yes, I do. And then I can switch into Ganadel and then make him take less, one less prize. That's going to be the strategy. All right, so. Drop Suicune down, I guess. We'll Choice Band here, Choice Band here. We'll Ultra Ball for uh, Naganadel. This is why Naganadel is so good with Quagsire. Because you get the extra energy in play for the Quagsire. It's really nice. So we will be able to take a knockout here. And possibly go into a Naganadel so that Naganadel does survive the turn. Or gets knocked out. So he only takes one less prize. Though he hasn't played... He's played one Guzma. I mean... I don't think the odds are like too great. But we're gonna, we're gonna go for it. I don't think these odds are too great. He probably has Guzma. I send you a trade. I'm giving you Sceptile GX for four Lost Thunder packs. It's Rainbow Rare. All right, Terry, I will accept that in just a moment. Well, after this game. My man, Fury. Yo, Lou, welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, we're going to be testing out Lost Thunder decks. Yeah, I guess we have to Burnicles him. And we... I mean, actually, it's probably better to go into Poipul. Because we need Naganadel. It's an important piece of the deck. So we'll knock him out. He gets the Wishful Baton. I mean, there's not much he can move to. He could... I, I guess he could, like, move to Vikavolt. Knock me out with Electro Cannon just to like um, say, hey, you don't want to take out Vikable, you want to deal with Rayquaza. But if he doesn't Guzma me this turn, we'll knock him out with Lapras. And our hand is good enough, as long as the Field Blower me. We haven't uh, he brought out Marshadow. Well, I guess he's retreating it. But our hand is good enough to really. And he has Guzma, of course he does. But he's actually KOing Suicune, which is what I wanted him to do, because we can't one shot him anymore, so this is actually fine. Though it's getting to the point where the game might be over very soon. Oh, he's actually putting more energy on Rayquaza. And he's doing treasure. Okay, questionable. If he has another Wishful Baton, which I don't think he does, he's already played two. And the game's probably going to end. Okay, no, just a Dragon Break knockout. That's fine. We are going to be able to knock him out with Lapras this turn. 
Lapras will not get KO'd unless he has like another Guzma play with Vika Bolt, but we might be able to make a decent play comeback thingy, Maduder, whatever you want to call it. The comeback, I mean, I wouldn't really call it a comeback, but we could, we can make like a big stance this turn. Okay, so what do I want to do? Can't really disrupt them. So you just gotta hope those four cards doesn't give him the win somehow. I guess that's my only play. But yeah, Naganadel is coming in clutch. Cause see, if we didn't have Naganadel, you know, we'd be relying super heavily on Aqua Patch, and I don't like that. Does Naganadel Rayquaza work? Yeah, that could that could be a possible archetype. Rayquaza, Zorora, Naganadel, maybe. Um, okay. I kind of have to hold the hand, so I think we're just gonna get Sightseer, get rid of Ultra Ball and Brooklyn Hill. I'm gonna keep the Guzma for next turn to guarantee the win. Assuming my opponent is going to try and knock me out with... He might bring out Vikavolt. The only problem is, if he has a Grass-type attacker, it's game over. But, seeing all these Grass-weak Pokemon, he probably would've went for, like, a Dalmize at some point. So I don't really know. So I think we just gotta hope he doesn't have the game here. There's nothing on board that's really too threatening. We removed a lot of energy off the board, so even if he gets Rayquaza, it's gonna be a little hard from the do anything. This was a very good game. A little annoying, you know, I got a little cheesed about that Vikavolt with three hands, but that's what that deck does. So there's Rayquaza. He does have to get rid of an energy in order to pull this off. I don't know if he's doing enough damage. He might not even have much energy left. I mean, I haven't seen Energy Recycler yet, so I don't know. Uh, rip, he had a switch. That's pretty bad. Oh, but he has to Tempest! Oh, and we somehow pulled off a win. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. We somehow, somehow just scraped by and won the game. What in the world? I, okay, I'll take it. I, I will take it. That was a pretty good game. Holy cow. I don't, I'm amazed by that win, man. I'm amazed. Oh, all right, let's see. What do we got? 10 coins ripped. All right. Yeah, that was a pretty good win. Pretty good win. I mean, you kind of, like, is a pretty good matchup. Ooh, I think a trade went through. Oh, no, 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 the private offer. Okay, I'll accept that, but that was a great match.